on the exam, you're going to have a few questions asking to solve system of equation, and you're going to know which one I'm asking for, right? Because it's similar. It's all system of equation. Like, I forgot which one she asked me to do. Um, okay, so let me show you how to learn the uh, solve system of equation using matrix. Um, first, it is okay for you to change row. So, so for example, right here, if you have two system of equation two by two here, you can change. You can change row, right? You can flip them back and forth as long as you don't change the, the coefficient. <clears throat> unless you multiply, unless you multiply row by any real number except zero. Do you remember when you do elimination? We can multiply one equation by a number, right? And then add to another. Same thing here. You multiply row by any real number, and then you can add a non-zero multiple of one row to another. It's the same thing we did with elimination, nothing less. The only difference is that instead of writing x, y, z, we just write it coefficient, right? So the same thing is just uh, less writing, that's all. And the presentation is slightly different. <coughs> okay, so let me show you how, um, <coughs> how to solve this um, system equation using matrix. Um, for this class, there are two types, is row echelon form and reduced row echelon form. I'm just gonna teach you how to do row echelon form because it's just easier. And um, sometimes it's faster just to use row echelon form than reduce row echelon form. So let me write out the reduce row echelon form. <clears throat> so this one, we're gonna do by hand. But when, when check with calculator, which I'm gonna show you how to do a check with calculator. We're gonna use redo row echelon form, R-R-E-F. That's in your calculator, it's a thing called R-R-E-F. <clears throat> I don't know where that name echelon come from. I forgot. I think I read somewhere. I forget. <coughs> so, lecture <coughs> four point five. Um, by the way, this right here, these uh, step right here, they call Gauss elimination. Uh, Gauss is a very famous mathematician. He's definitely one of my top three heroes. Extremely, extremely, uh, extremely intelligent. <clears throat> He's everywhere, really, math, statistic, everywhere. Um, okay, so, um, so here, so this is an equation using matrix. Or sometimes I say Gauss elimination is the same thing, uh, but I'm gonna be specific on the exam. So first I need to write it in what? Augmented matrix, right? Augmented matrix. So it looks like this. Am I recording? Yes. Uh, so three, two, and then little dash light imply that's the equal side on the right hand side is one, 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 two. Okay, remember the step, you're you allowed to do certain things. You're allowed, allowed to interchange any two rows. So what I can do is, um, oh, by the way, I didn't explain it to you, I forgot. Okay, right, let me go back to the other slide. I, I forgot to talk about um, this one right here. So my goal is, I'll go, I'll go one solving system equation by using matrix is that you want the, under the diagonal, now here they have one and one here, which is great. It doesn't have to be one all the time. If it, you have one, great for you. If it not, it's okay. But you must have zero under the diagonal. So for example, if I haven't write this down, you don't have to. If I have um, three by threes. <clears throat> I'm just make up some number here, okay. So the diagonal is gonna be this one. Right, that's the diagonal. So uh, 
imagine he is three, he is five, it doesn't have to be one all the time. Um, <clears throat> then under the diagonal has to be what? All what? Yeah, all zero. That's, that's the important thing. That's whether you're not the all one on the diagonal, I don't care, but you must have all zero under the diagonal. Uh, now, what's the order? So here's the, the order. You're gonna try to get this number zero first. So that's number one. And then this guy, and then this guy. Basically you go that way. It's kind of like a game. <clears throat> okay. So, so that's a rule. Um, and we're gonna use those three steps to, to make it like that. So first, um, what do you think I'm gonna do? You think should I interchange between two rows? Yeah, right, right. Because I want a one to be in the diagonal. You don't have to, this step is kind of not necessary, but just because I'm following the step, I'm just gonna do all of it. So I'm gonna chain, I'm gonna call R1. Um, here, 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 here. R1 and R2, they interchange like that, right? The R mean row. So what do I have? New augmented matrix is gonna be one, one, two, and then three, two, one. <clears throat> I need to make the three zero. I need to make this one zero. Um, <clears throat> so what I can do is what? I'm going to take, so a little arrow, I'm going to take negative three times row one, add to row two. And now I got new row two. That little, that little um, arrow implied the rows, this kind of chain is row number two, right? Row number one stay the same. So multiply one row to a number as long as it's not zero. And then you can add to another row. That's the step two and step three. Right? So row one stay the same. One, one, two. And then what do we do? I have negative three times row one. So negative three times one is negative three. Add row two. So add component by component. Just, just add down. Add three is zero. Negative three times one again for the second component is negative three. Plus two is negative one. Negative three times two on the on behind the dash line right there is negative six plus one is negative five. So far so good. Negative one. <clears throat> so far so good. Yeah. Okay, we have a diagonal. The diagonal is all one, so so we okay. Let me make this into green. This is what I did. Um, it's, it's zero, so I'm good, I'm good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to back substitute. What does that mean? Back substitute, that means you write it, you plug in X and Y back. So I'm gonna change it into system of equation. So one, one, two is one X, one X plus one Y equal two. And then on the bottom is zero X. So I'm not gonna write it. Negative one Y or negative Y equal negative five. And right away you have Y, right? So Y equal what? Five. Now you can substitute back. You can substitute five back here. So X plus five equal two, X equal negative three. And I encourage you to write in order pair. <clears throat> so far, so good. But all you, all you have to do is just remember the rule, right? You have the under diagonal is all zero. You're okay. Uh, okay, let's try one more. I'll walk with you through this one as well. Again, let's write it in augmented matrix. Into say space, I'm gonna write it right here. 
two, negative three, one. And remind me to show you how to check the answer with the um, graphing calculator. Negative three, one, negative two, one, 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 zero. <clears throat> You can flip the road. R1 with R3 is not necessary. Again, you don't have all one in the diagonal. I'm just following the step. Um, uh, thank you, Haya. So now I got what? I got, uh, I wonder if I have enough space. <laughs> Did you go over there? Did you go over to the, the oval room? Yeah. I, <laughs> I saw you coming like, oh, where are you going? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, did, did you, by any chance you see the inside? Go to the inside. Yeah. Okay. yeah it was a finish. It was bad. It was like torn down the to roof with the top with them. Yeah. I guess we're just gonna stay here till we finish the class. So, okay, so row one and row three exchanging. So one, 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 and zero. Uh, and then, um, so row three become row one, two, negative three, one, 19, row three, row two stay the same. Let me put a little note here. Um, Okay. Um, I need to make which one zero. This one first, right? I need to make that guy zero. Uh, any suggestion? Any suggestion? What would you do? What number multiply? What number add to? I'm gonna take what negative three, uh, just three, right? Three times R one, add to R two, and then now we have a new R two, right? So um, okay, so three times R one, three times one is one. I'm talking about this one right here. Plus negative three is zero. By the way, let me rewrite the first and the third, because that's the one that does not. The first. Let me write the first first. <clears throat> three times uh, three times one again at one. This one and this one is what four, right? Three times one is three plus one is four. Three times one is three plus negative two is one. And then three times zero is zero plus negative fifteen is still negative fifteen. I need to make this one zero next. Uh, okay, so so somebody tell me, either higher or, or yeah, negative two times R row row. No, no, yeah, row one, right? It, because why? Why don't you time row two? Because row two have a zero here. Because have a zero, zero plus two, so two, right? So row two, negative two times R one plus R three, give me new R three. Again, that arrow indicate which row is changing. Okay, so negative three times R, uh, negative two times R1. So R1 is this one. So negative two times one is negative two plus two zero, like we want it. Negative two times one is negative two. And then minus three is negative five, right? Plus minus three. <clears throat> negative two times one is still negative two plus one is negative one. Negative two times zero is zero. Plus 19 is 19. One more time. I need to make this zero.
So I need, I need a what? I need a positive five, right? I need a positive five. Now, I cannot use row one again. Why can't I use row one again? Because if you multiply some number to row one, say, um, say five, when you add to row three, what happened? This guy become, it's, got, it's not gonna, it's gonna, it's changed to the non-zero one, right? So I gotta be smarter. I gotta pick something that when I add, my first entry of the first row doesn't change. Well, my, my best choice is the second one, right? Second one. Because why, when you multiply zero, it's still zero and add to the, the first component of the third row, it's still zero. Yeah, I worked too hard to make that zero. I'm not gonna change it again. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this one a little bit tricky because it's gonna involve fraction. I need a five, I need a five here to add to negative five to make this zero, but I got a four here. So what do you think? I need to get rid of the four. I need to make the four kind of disappear. So can I do this? Can I do this? Don't write this down. Um, maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah, go ahead, write this down. Can I take, um, Five four five over four times row two. What happened when you take five over four times four? Five over four times four is four gone, right? Which is five. And I add to row three becomes row three. Uh, don't write this down here. I just so five over four times let's say times four. That's, that's canceled, then you delete your five, which is, is what you want, or you want to eliminate the negative five. Okay. So, <clears throat> let me rewrite the first and the second row. One, 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 zero, zero, four, one, negative 15. Five over four times four. I'm I'm on I'm my eyes on second row right now, and I'm gonna add to the third row. Uh, well, five four times zero is zero, so add zero is still zero here. Uh, five over four times four. This one is five. Add to negative five is zero. Yay. Five over four times one. Add negative one. So five over four times one plus negative one which is five over four minus one, or better yet, five over four minus four over four, right? One is the same thing as four over four. One over four. And then five over four times, you know what, do, do, do with your calculator. Um, you don't have to do by hand like I do. So on your calculator, you wanna do the five over four parentheses. Well, times one, so it doesn't change. And then all you do is what? Times negative 15 plus 19. That's what you're gonna do in your calculator. <clears throat> so parentheses, five divided by four, times negative 15, make sure you use the opposite side. Don't use the minus side. It's gonna give you error. And then plus 19. Uh, it's, it's a quarter, you can go to math and hit frac twice, just hit second, enter twice, it gives you a one fourth. Use calculator, don't do one thing, one less thing for you to think about. So one fourth. So let me recap for people who come a little bit late. My goal is that all the diagonal, all the number under the diagonal here is what? It's zero. That's the goal. You can interchange two rows, although that step is not very necessary. Uh, you, can, you can multiply a row by a number, just kind of like linear integration, so you multiply uh, an equation by a number, you add to a linear equation. Same thing here, oh, except it, we do it without the x, y, z, right? So multiply. A row by a number, you add to another row so that you can make the entry of, of each row to be zero until you have the last one. The x one is zero. Okay, now back step to two. You're going to bring x, y, z back. Back sub two. So um, one, 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 zero. So that means what? One x. Let me keep 
one X plus one Y plus one Z equals zero. Second row, I have zero, four, one, negative 15. So that means zero X, I'm not gonna write X, four Y plus one Z equal negative 15. I, I recommend you write it in the, the in order. Um, just nicer. Negative, uh, sorry, one fourth, so quarter, quarter of Z equal one four. You can solve for Z by multiply both side by four. Or four over one, four over one like that. Cancel, so Z equal one. And you substitute it back. Yeah, maybe I'll substitute back on this one, right? Don't go all the way up there, just um, backtrack, kind of like last time we did. Okay, so this one is what? 4y plus z, which is one, equal negative 15. 4y equal negative 16. y equal negative four. Last but not least. X plus negative four and Z is one. Done. Let's see, equals zero. So X equal what? You know, I'll, I'll go. I'll go up here so I have more space. Negative four plus one is negative three. X equal three. Okay, so um, three, negative four, one. That's your order pair. How do you guys feel about solving system equation using matrix? You, you do this, uh, you definitely, anyone go for engineering, definitely take this class because it's linear algebra. Let's see, I can, uh, I want to see people. Any question before I move on? Please ask. All right, why don't you try this one? I'll give you a few minutes to try this one. Let me see how many questions do I have? Two more, all right. Try this one. Which one? I finished your ex final exam. I wrote your final exam last weekend. That's why I didn't. Um, there will be 18 questions instead of 20. I guess it's good news for both of us. I have to, I have to, I don't have to grade a lot more. First of all, let me uh, write it in the augmented matrix. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. On the exam, even if you just write this step out for me, you get one point. Everything is partial credit. So three, four, two, 20.
Mm. I don't know how people drink this. I grabbed the closest thing to me, which is my kiss. <laughs> uh, my kiss too. All right, um, anyone? You don't have to, I'm not, I'm gonna skip role changing now because it's not important now. In the future, it might be helpful. That's what I'm telling you. But um, right now, not really. Oh, oh, um, Don, I forgot. I, I, I told you, I promise you, I'm gonna show you the, how to uh, check your answer on calculator. So let's do this. Um, so let's do, um, Taylor, can you help me with reading this for me? Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, you can read just the matrix. Uh, okay, so um, so let's uh, so first I need to go to the matrix. So second matrix, you see the matrix there? One, two, three, four. The fifth button on the left, the fifth button down on the left. Matrix. So second, go to matrix. So far so good. Go over edit. So use your arrow to go over edit. I'm gonna pick the very first matrix. I see enter. It's supposed to be three by three. So three, enter by three. Oh, I'm sorry, what is that? How many row, how many column? I think three by four, right? Three by four, because we have three rows, four column, including the constant column. The first entry. <clears throat> uh, you tell me the first entry. Mm -hmm. Two, go ahead, two. 19, okay. Again, use the opposite side, okay? Do not use. Thank you. Yeah, you, you want to use this side? Okay, the opposite side or the middle? <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna quit. Second mode to quit. Second mode to quit. Get out of there. And then go back in, second matrix. And go over map. And go all the way down. Just go down, 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 down. Um, you see REF, row, redo, echelon form. Press enter. And it tell you what matrix you want to put in that parentheses. So second matrix again. And we say matrix A names, right? So press enter. Right there. Three, negative four, one. So you can check your answer, not just three by three, two by two, you can check anything. I give you a system of equation, no matter what, no matter what uh, method I want you to use, you can always check, right? You can always check. Uh, and your exam is gonna be um, all uh, integer solution. Okay, if you have fraction, it's probably wrong. Of course, uh, integer is kind of rare. Usually, uh, on on in real life, is uh, you you probably have like weird solution, but it's for the sake of the exam, it just give some nice number. Okay, so let's go back to this problem. Uh, I don't I don't want to chain row one and row two. A lot of people like number one in the first entry of the first row, but that's necessary. Not right now for us at least. So my goal is, what do I want? I want to make this zero and then this one, and then this one zero, right? Because, because this right here is my diagonal. Right. So let's focus on the first one. Where is that? So how do I get rid of this zero here? I'm sorry, I, I get rid of that one there. You know, maybe it's best, it's, actually, actually it's, it's kind of helpful. You're right, it's kind of helpful to make that into a one. Yeah, it's kind of helpful, let's, so let's do that. Uh, it, because um, you don't have to run into fraction. So R1 and R2 changing. One, 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 nine, two, three, one, twelve, 
three, four, two, twenty. All right, now I need to uh, chain, I need to make this into a zero, that number two right there. So what do I do? Um, Haya, you wanna tell me what you want to do to make the two zero? Mm -hmm. Negative two what? Negative two times what row? Yeah, negative two R1, right? Negative two R1, add to R2, and now I have a new R2. So uh, the one is the one, the row one is the one being multiplied. I'm gonna rewrite that, one, one, nine. I'm sorry, one, and then nine plus. All right, row two is changing. So uh, negative two times one is negative two plus two is zero. Negative two times one is negative two plus three is one. Negative two times one is negative two plus one is negative one. Negative two times nine is negative 18 plus 12 is negative six. Second time, this one, I need to, I need to make that three zero. Uh, Taylor? Mm -hmm. Times what row? That's also okay. That's okay. If you time R two, then what happened? It have a zero here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want it. It's okay. If <laughs> you can check, and then if you're not satisfied, you go back. There are only two rows, right? Not a lot of options. So negative three is R one plus R three. Give me new R three. So negative three times one, negative three plus three is zero. Negative three times one again, add to four, that's the negative three plus four is one. Negative three times one again, that's that one here, add to two. So negative three plus two is negative one. And negative three times Nine is negative 27 plus 20 is negative seven. One last one. I need to make this a zero. So this is my diagonal here. Anyone want to volunteer to make that zero? What should I do next? Um, from Zoom, Zoom, Zoomer, I haven't picked on you. Don't feel bad if you don't know the answer. Um, uh, this is a learning process. I'm not expecting to know everything at the first in the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It matters now. It kind of matters. It matters because what? You, you want to change this into a zero without changing this. Right. So the only option you have is which row? If you multiply some number to first row, you add to row three, you're gonna change this guy, right? You're gonna change that, that entry. So the, 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 the only option you have is what? Always the second row. Always the second row. Always the second row. Always the second row. Uh, oh, uh, yes, because I want the, the first entry to be one. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, easier for you. <clears throat> any, any, any suggestion? How do I make this equal zero? My having a suggestion? Or Alex or Corey? What is your situation? Not now. <laughs> I know you came late. There's a lot to take in, huh? Yes, yes. Negative one times R two, right? I, like I said, the last guy, the last zero, the only option is second row. Um, add to R three. Give me new R three. So the first two row is same. So let me rewrite the first two rows so I don't forget. 
And then let's see, negative one times zero is zero, and zero is still zero, which is what we want. We don't want to change it. <clears throat> negative one times negative, negative one is negative one plus one is zero, negative. and then negative one times negative one is positive one plus one is zero. Wow. It's giving me more zeros than I want it. Um, negative one times negative six is positive six plus negative seven is negative one. And now back up to two. Back up. I'm, I'm gonna write the last row first because I don't feel like writing the whole thing and I'm not gonna use it anyway. Um, so the last one indicate this. The third row indicate this. Is, is that that's what indicate, right? Uh, the left hand side all zero and the right hand side negative one. Is this true or false? Zero equal negative one. False, right? At least it's not in our universe. Um, so what does that mean? Do you guys remember like last time we do substitution with three by three? That mean what? No solution. Right? Very good. Um, no solution. You can say no solution, or you can use that symbol. It's the same thing. On the exam, don't matter to me. That's the reason why I don't feel like rewriting the first two rows because I'm not going to use it. <clears throat> All right. Um, the last one. I'll, I'll work. Uh, actually, let me show you this one with the with the software. Second matrix. I'll use three by three. I use the, the first one again because it's already three by four. Can you read it for me? <clears throat> oh, hang on, hang on. Nine. Oh, no, it's one. Uh, one and then nine. But thank you. You can remember this, right? Second, quit, go out of there. Second matrix, go to math, go all the way down. Oh, I'm going to use the upper arrow because it's faster. Right there. See, uh, uh, by the way, I don't show you these options. You see rows, swap, row, add, transform, all of that. Um, actually, you can do all the way down. Um, I'm going to use the calculator. REF, go back, second matrix, names, first one. Right there. Uh, um, yeah. The last, by the way, um, it, it's not gonna match up with what we have. Uh, the 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 point is that you have a solution. But here they, they do R R E F. We did R E F. We missing the R. Right? They did they did more. The computer did the calculator. Did did more. What it did was, so for example, if I go back up to this one, what it did was, so here is your diagonal. What it is, is it make it make this zero. We did the three zero, right? And it also make these three, up three zero as well, called the upper triangular matrix. We didn't do that. It's too much work. I don't want you to do that. Too much work. All I need is the, the bottom, the bottom th three. <clears throat> Okay, so let's let let's take a look at this one. <clears throat> one, negative one. I'm gonna do a little quick for this one. Negative four, two, one, three, two, negative three, three, negative six, twelve. Uh I don't need to swap anything because the first entry is already one. I need to make this two zero right so suggestion suggestion you should be good by now or at least for the first one what yeah negative two r1 at r2 give me new r2 the first row rewrite the first row do that so you don't forget 
or you're not confused. So negative two times one is negative two plus two zero. Negative two times negative one is positive two plus one is three. Negative two times negative two is negative four. Plus three is negative one. Negative two times negative four is positive eight. Plus two is 10. It's kind of helpful to just, you know, say out loud. Um, all right, the third, the third row, I need to make this zero. Anyone else? <clears throat> Josh, you want to give it a try? Mm -hmm. Good idea, three, right? So three times, which row? Uh, three. Uh, three times, no, no. The third row is the one I want to you know, get rid of. <laughs> yeah, first row. So three times R1, add to R3, give me U R3. So three times one is three plus negative three, zero. Three times negative one is negative three, plus three, zero. Three times two is positive six, plus negative six, zero. And three times negative four is negative 12, plus 12 is zero. When you have all zero in the bottom, what happened? What does that mean? Infinite remaining solution, right? Because this means, let me rewrite this in back of the two. This mean what? This mean one X minus one Y plus two Z equal negative four. And then I have three Y minus one Z, cause I don't write the one, equal 10. And I have zero equals zero here. So that means it's true, right? This is true. So what does that mean? What I'm going to do next is I'm going to let, uh, I have a free, it's called free variable. The reason it says free because you can let that variable be any number you want and the other variable depend on that variable. Um, so I can, I'm gonna let Z equal T. T, it's a parameter. So let Z equal T. Then if I label this is one, and this is two, then what? Then according to the second equation, what happened? Three Y minus what? T equals zero equal 10, right? So three Y equal 10 plus T, or better yet, Y equal 10 plus T divided by three. So far so good? <clears throat> That's what I meant by y is being depend on z right but i'm not going to use z i use t because um, so we can plug in t here so we can plug in t equals zero if t equals zero y is what 10 third right if t equals um one is 11 third right it can be any number y has to be dependent on it i'm sorry i give you this one it's kind of look kind of ugly um now, equation one, you have x minus y, so minus what? Minus 10 plus t over three plus two z, z is t equal negative four. And then you solve for x. Um, yeah, I'll solve for x, x equal, all you do is what? You move this one to the right, don't worry about this. So I'm gonna add 10 plus, I'm gonna add 10 plus t over three to the right and then subtract two t and that'll be your x. I don't feel like running. So, um, so okay, so so your, your order pair is gonna be 10 plus t over three minus two t plus x. Y is 10 plus t over three, z is t. Everybody depend on t. <clears throat> so that's what that meant by infinitely many solutions. You cannot just pick three numbers and then say that's a solution, right? You had to pick some number for t and then plug it in. If t equals zero, so give me a solution. If you have so many solutions, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell, I ask you, what, what about you? Give me at least one solution. So what do you do? You can plug it in any number for T. So say, say, so a particular solution called particular solution. 
uh, say t equals zero. Now it doesn't have to be zero all the time. It just can be t when you know, just and fifty one, first and fifty equal ten, right? Um, Taylor can pick t equal pi if you want to, but it doesn't matter. I like zero because it's just easy for calculation. So when t equals zero, what's my first value? What's x equal? Ten third, right? Ten third. Ten over three, and y is gonna be also ten third. T zero. So that's my my one solution. If, if Curtis takes like t equal or five, then you have another solution, right? So that's what I meant by infinitely many solutions. <clears throat> oh, I I I let leave me another page here. I always forget. Uh. Okay, so we've done the matrix. Did you have any question? All right, um, let me go to, uh, I usually give you a break, but I don't have time. So let me go to 4.6 right away. 